everybody. So uh, hopefully this is either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday night for you that you're going to go ahead and make your filet. Um, I chose a New York strip steak. Before we get started, I've got just a little sheet pan for that. Um, I don't need a big one. We're going to broil this. So I'm just going to give it a little uh, swish with some coconut oil spray. You can use whatever spray you have. If you don't have any spray, you can just take a little olive oil, put it on the fingertips, and just rub it around. And then before we go ahead and handle our raw meat, let's go ahead and get our seasoning set up. So we're using a little salt, a little pepper, and some parsley. So we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt to begin. And because we're broiling, we're gonna rub this around on both sides. And then I'm gonna do some generous pepper, about the same, about a quarter teaspoon. Because after it's cooked, you can always add more. You know, that's the thing. It's like start small and then work your way up to it. And then we're gonna do um, a half of a teaspoon of parsley. So I'm gonna use my quarter teaspoon that I use and I'm just gonna do it two times, <laughs> right? Why, why uh, dirty another utensil? And I'm doing it kind of a heaping. So I love parsley, I think it's so good. And then finally, I wanna do one teaspoon of olive oil or coconut oil uh, or whatever oil you have on hand, okay? Um, so I'm just setting it right down in my little dish, in my little plate that I'm gonna use, because I'm just gonna put this off to the side for a second. All right, so that'll be fine. Now, this is a great time to check the density of your steak. The thicker it is, obviously, the more chance you might want to tenderize it at that. At this point, this is a great way to tell. It's really soft, and I mean, you can just, this is, I'm tenderizing it right now. Mine's really soft. So depending on what kind of a cut you got, you know, and just sometimes you just get a tougher steak. It's not a big deal. You just got to take a fork. You got to tenderize it a little bit. You just, that's what all that is, is just pricking it a little bit a few times, right? And we've already done that. Now, everybody's broiler is different. Mine works really fast, and I like my uh, steak about medium, medium rare. Um, chances are I am gonna eat this tonight, so uh, I won't have to steam it or reheat it. I will recommend, though, if you are going to um, cook it early and then reheat it, I would highly recommend steaming. So I'm gonna take my teaspoon of olive oil, and I'm just gonna use half of it and I'm just gonna gently massage that olive oil in all over, all right? Just flip it over to the other side, do the exact same thing, and then you can set that little teaspoon aside, all right? And then I just wanna take my seasonings that I've already mixed up and just give them a little mix up, and then I'm just gonna generously rub this into my steak. And then once we're done with that, you're gonna do both sides. You're gonna set your steak aside for about 10 minutes. That point, uh, at this point, you can go ahead and turn on the broiler, depending on how hot your broiler gets. I mean, it's not gonna be a bad thing to turn it on, because then it'll just cook up right, really quick. And you have to decide how well do you like your steak done. Generally speaking, with a broiler, you're thinking about a couple, three to four minutes per uh, type of thickness but everybody's broiler is different, and this is where you just have to keep your eye on it until you get to know your broiler if you don't already, that is. Okay, and that's it. In the meantime, while I let this rest, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scoop up some vegetables. So I'm gonna use some of the roasted vegetables that we had from our veggie bowls that were left over. Um, and I'm gonna use some of that, and then I'm probably gonna take a little bit of my asparagus too, and I'm just gonna steam it, do a little quick steam on that, okay? So it'll be ready when the steak is. And that's it, <laughs> you got a delicious steak for you. All right, I'm putting mine right into my broiler. I'm gonna check it in about three minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine out and flip it over. You should probably do the same, depending on how um, well done you like yours. Yeah, mine's looking really good right now. Perfection. Yeah, see that? Good stuff, and I'm gonna put it back in for just about three more minutes, four more minutes, and then I'll let it rest. If you can stand it, you can let it rest, or <laughs> you can cut right into it. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, guys with that that's a beautiful looking piece of steak right there of course I am going to trim the fat and this is a pretty large piece so I think what I'll do is this might be two meals for me or it might be one dinner and then maybe I'll do steak and egg over steak and eggs uh, or steak and an egg over the weekend something like that all right and done hope you guys love it it's simple but delicious my favorite let's cut that delicious steak shall we